Hello everyone, now I've been saying for a while now that I would show you how to import schematics into your Minecraft world, especially since I've started uh, to release a couple. The first thing you're obviously going to need is MC Edit, which you can get at mcedit.net, link in the description, and of course download it for whichever platform you're using. Now I don't need to do this, obviously, I already have it. Then what you want to do is find a schematic. I'm using Planet Minecraft, you can find plenty there. Here we have my own, which I just uploaded like yesterday, as you know if you saw the video. And you simply want to scroll down, not on the update log, and on the download, click on the MC Edit Schematic button. That, once you've downloaded it, and extracted MC Edit as well, then you'll end up with uh, an MC Edit. I mean, I've got, you know, Windows version, and I've got 64-bit operating system, and you'll end up with this at least for Windows you will anyway and then schematics that you downloaded you want to put in here just because it's easier to sort of know where they are I mean I've already got mine in here and I've got a couple of old ones from older tutorials in here um, this one in question here behind is this one so this is the one I've chosen and I put the schematic in here ready so you know if you want to look at my Planet Minecraft you can find the link here from my channel or just follow the link in the description once you've done that you want to actually load up the application, MC Edit, which I've already done just to speed up this video. I don't want to be here all day. And you will be presented with this rather bland looking screen. Now, don't worry about any of this stuff. If you're just looking to import a schematic, don't worry about any of that crap. Just go on to Load World, and this will show you all of your Minecraft worlds. And just load in the one that you want to uh, put the schematic on. I've, I've prepared a flat one just for, you know, demonstrating this. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that to load it in. And you'll be presented with what looks like, well, crap, basically. But it serves a purpose. <clears throat> anyway, once you've loaded your world, you want to go to this button here, which is Import. And then, of course, you know, navigate to wherever you put the schematics. Mine's already sort of here. And click Open. And that will attach it to your, your mouse cursor. You don't need to hold anything or press anything. It'll just be attached. So I'm just going to click to place it wherever I want it. And from here, I can now sort of move it around, I can move it up and down, or left and right. So all I'm going to do is just drop it one, so that the uh, the gravel of this build is level with the grass, which it looks like it is. Once you've done that, simply click Import, and there, now, that, now it's physical. It's a physical part of your world. This bounding box now is simply a selection, as you can see, you don't need it, so just click Deselect. And there it is. All you need to do now is save, shortcut, control S, and boop. There we go. You are pretty much done. That's it. There's nothing else to it. It really is that simple. So, you know, get downloading them schematics, stick them in your world, check out what people have been doing. Not just not necessarily just mine, you know, other people, just some great builders out there who who are kind enough to release all of their buildings as schematics for you to import into your world and play around with. There's some amazing work out there, so just have a look on Planet Minecraft and uh, follow this little guide. And just to prove that it does work guys, here we are in that same flat world as you can see and here it is the schematic that we spawned in, it all appears to be in place and I'm getting a little bit of micro stutter there, I'm not sure what that's about. Everything's here, look, everything, all of the uh, metadata and everything else is all there. So that is how you do it guys, hope you enjoyed this quick video and hope you find some good schematics out there on planet Minecraft and see you next time.